Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live. Thank you so much for joining us. Joel Skousen coming up in the next segment. We got Webster Griffin Carpley coming on. We're going to get into all this incredible police state geopolitical news. All of it is coming up. Now, continuing here uh, today, we're having the fourth annual Money Bomb, which is uh, added treasure, as the founding fathers would say, to fund our info war against the globalist. You know, a couple of their Hellfire missiles cost a half million dollars that they're dropping on people. And the government takes your money, forces you to then give it to their systems, which are given to offshore banks. They don't give you a choice. We give you a choice. If you want to give your money in a place where it has more bang for its buck than anywhere else, then it's InfoWarsMoneyBomb.com. Or just go to InfoWars.com. There's a big giant banner on the top of the screen. You click on that. And it takes you over there to the site where you can donate on PayPal, credit card, you name it. Also, I was going to do a bunch of pen and inks and even some acrylic. And I got so busy, I never did it. But during my two-hour break tonight when Mike Adams is doing the show, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to have him go over to Hobby Lobby or wherever and get me the art supplies. The problem is I know what I need. And maybe I'll just run over there and uh, do some. Just because it's an idea, I've always wanted to do it. Just some fast, quick Paintings of different things, some political stuff, and then we're going to sell those on the eBay. There's a big link at InfoWarsMoneyBomb.com to our eBay selection. It's got Tyranny Crusher 2. We've actually used this for more than two years. It says on the eBay we've been using it for two years. Uh, actually, this was my spare. We've had this, I think, five years, and the other one got broken four years ago at the DNC when the MSNBC people attacked me with the knife. And it's all on video and cut it. So this is Tyranny Crusher 2. It's been used for five years off and on, totally in the last uh, three and a half, four years. And it's signed by me, yours truly, Alex Jones. And it has the 2011 on it. And it says TC2, uh, Tyranny Crusher 2 on it. And it's also got a pig on it that says in the Fed. And uh, this is up there for bid. Right now on the eBay site, we got a bunch of other... We, we printed out a bunch of Obama deception, fall of the Republic color printouts to cover the wall with them to shoot promo videos for the films. And they've hung here in the office for three years and a year and a half, respectively. We're now signing those. I'm signing those and pulling them down off the wall. So we're now pulling them down off the wall. We're going to be, I mean, whatever, whatever raises capital so that I can hire four or five more people and buy some more equipment. And because, again, uh, with the nightly news, I need to hire at least two or three more people to have a second string to be trained so that when people go on vacation, when things happen, uh, so that we uh, basically have uh, that cushion. I mean, and it's not even a cushion. You have to have it or you go crazy. Uh, that's why I'm grooming Aaron into the nightly news some. Mike Adams also does a great job, comes in some and does it. Uh, I'm trying to get McBreen, who's a really smart, good guy, great reporter, to also do the nightly news sometimes. To where I'm doing it about four nights a week. Somebody else is doing it one night a week. Uh, because I also then have a plan to start other shows. I want to start a shooting show, uh, maybe even five nights a week, about the Second Amendment. I, I, I got all these ideas I want to launch. And if we build it, they will come. You have come. We've done incredible things. But in the face of this New World Order onslaught, I know that it is my responsibility to do even more. And that's what I'm doing. And you understand that. You resonate with that. You realize that. If you want to be part of this uh, incredible historical thing we're doing together. Donate today, InfoWarsMoneyBomb.com. But even more important, for this 27-hour transmission, get that link to InfoWarsMoneyBomb.com and send it to everybody and say, there is a 27-hour broadcast happening here. Or send them the InfoWars uh, link uh, that we've got as well. Because it's so important to get this out to people. It is so important that they know this is coming up. And we're already into the second hour of it. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Alex Jones. This holiday season, more than half of our nation is in need of help due to the shattered economy. So now is the time to express the holiday spirit more than ever. Consider helping those you love with the most important gift. 
a supply of delicious, easy to fix, and very storable foods from eFoodsDirect.com. Their holiday gift and family pack start at $99 for a 16 day supply. All their five week supply of quick and easy to fix meals includes a personal backpack in case of a grab and go emergency. Order their combo gift pack and you'll save hundreds plus get free shipping on your entire order. Call eFoods today at 800 409 5633 or visit them online at eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex to find the special. That's 800 409 5633 or eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. You can bet your life on eFoods Direct. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee where they make blue diamond gusset jeans. They so pride in every stitch. Guarantee you love the way they fit. They put a diamond gusset in the crotch where you need it most. Blue diamond gusset's got it. We turn jeans inside out. Diamond gusset jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection. So you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond gusset jeans got it. Others don't. You may be arrested and or subject to other police action. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. We are now into hour number two of the 27-hour live transmission. It's the fourth annual Infowars.com. Money bomb to buy equipment and hire more personnel. You've seen the nightly news we've launched in the beta testing phase. Now we're going to start moving it into syndication to select uh, cable and TV systems that want it. It won't be like a big national show on one big giant network. We'll have to deliver it here and there, but we've already got folks in different parts of the world and here in the U.S. ready to get it. Some TV stations are already grabbing the Internet stream uh, or downloading the higher quality file after it's over every night and airing it. Like down in Houston, Texas, I need to create a whole list of where we're on as well. We have this, we have the syndicated radio show, we have the films we make, we have the news websites, Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. It, it has been my goal to start an internet TV network for a decade. And now you see it proliferating because the technology has gotten here. And we've been streaming this radio show out as a type of television show with videos and documents and articles and guests. But now we're moving even deeper in, into that with reporters, investigative journalists, people flying all over the country, doing dozens of interviews uh, a month uh, via Skype, uh, several a month in person, traveling around the country. <clears throat> we are moving into the next level. And it's the book sales, the video sales, the sponsors that make this show possible. But also, listeners four years ago... Had the idea for a money bomb. And I was like, no, I'm just going to stay here at my little 4,000 square foot office, make films, do the radio show. And they said, but they got all these people to pledge and all these donations came in. So I said, okay. And that pushed us to do what we've now done and, and gave me the idea to really try to grow in the face of the globalist to give it all I can. 
And we've done that. You know, most revolutionaries rob banks to fund themselves. Well, I'm not a revolutionary. I'm a restorationist. I want our republic, the rule of law, common law, the Constitution uh, that our forebears set up. I want that back. And but I noticed when they were doing the money bomb four years ago, the COINTELPRO operative screamed with anger because it's not just attacking Alex Jones. The idea of patriots, constitutionalists, libertarians, Christians giving money to anti-New World Order groups. That idea frightens the New World Order because they got all the rich and powerful to pull their money to set up world government. They got your tax money on top of Rockefeller money and on top of begging locally to fund all this NPR to push anti-gun, anti-family trash. They've set up their own system. They have United Way and others raise billions of dollars on 9-11 and then keep half the money and spend most of it on gun control. See, that's why the system screams in anger. Just like 10 years ago, you couldn't buy organic food anywhere. Going to Joel Scowls in a moment. You couldn't buy organic food anywhere. Now, because people wanted it in the market, it's displacing the garbage. People won't buy milk now with uh, the bovine synthetic hormone in it. You see, it's happening. We're voting with our dollars. When you spread the word about InfoWars.com, when you, when you go to InfoWars.com and get the video links, because we're streaming all this out for free right now, the next 27 hours, and send that out to others. We sent folks to Bilderberg, and just on Justin TV, in three and a half days, we had 3.5 million views on one little channel we just set up. Not just the 3 million that tune into this show every day, 3 million extra, just on one little internet system. Bill O'Reilly's the king of TV because he has 2 million viewers every night. They're paper tigers. That's my point. We've reached 300 million people in the last two and a half years on YouTube alone. By the way, we've now caught them with Ron Paul and myself not letting our new videos be searchable, but Obama's are. Oh, yeah, there's something going on at YouTube right now. You can check it for yourself. There's all sorts of things going on that are very sneaky because the system's scared. They're coming out saying they want to start censoring the web. In England, they're calling for it. They have this uh, uh, piracy bill that even members of Congress say will end the web as we know it, in due process. They're getting ready to launch a false flag on the web to try to start cracking down on it more. It's all coming down. We need to energize the alternative media now more than ever. And quite frankly, I could probably run around and, 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 and add more ads to the show and do stuff and fund our growth. But uh, people like a chance to give. They, the, and, and the fact that the system is so scared of this and comes out of the woodwork when we talk about a money bomb and a taxes, that shows I need to be doing this. Perhaps more. Also, support our local AM and FM affiliates. If you're a local business, sponsor the stations I'm on. If you're uh, listening to a local station, call them, thank them, thank their sponsors. Put your money where your mouth is, like our founders did when they pledged their names, their honor, their treasure, their family, their sacred honor, all of it on the cause. All we're doing in the info war is saying spread the word about us, support us, donate at InfoWarsMoneyBomb.com. Got a lot of items up at eBay, too. And the auction that also support us. I'm going to add some more stuff there today. It's all at InfoWars.com or InfoWarsMoneyBomb.com or PrisonPlanet.tv. Now, coming up in the next 47 minutes or so, we're going to get into Israel considers preemptive attack on Iran. Is this more saber rattling or they, we, they've hit Iraq before. They hit Syria three years ago, hit one of their nuclear facilities. In 81, they hit uh, Iraq. Uh, Netanyahu is asking for permission right now in the cabinet. They're arguing about it. And I've got family in the military and others. They say they've been told it's going to happen, that Israel's going to attack and the U.S. will have to mop it up or have you know anti-missile cruisers in the area. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen. If we get the word out, we can stop it. I want to get Joel Scalzi's take on that. I want to get his take on uh, the economy. I want to get his take on what's happening in the White House, Fast and Furious, this accelerated rollout of EAS alert. Uh, first time takeover, November 9th, where the government's going to take over all the communications for the first time without stations voluntarily going over to it. Uh, I want to get into all of this with Joel Skousen. But coming up, Skousen, Tarpley, Albrecht, Nori, Ike, Adams, uh, Robert Scott Bell, uh, so many others, uh, Corbett, uh, Tex Mars, uh, we've got uh, Jim Mars. Bob Chapman, Richard Reeves, Aaron Dykes, Fritz Springmeyer, Paul Joseph Watson, and 